Hey hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and welcome to the first episode of a sort of iRacing events series which is going to cover sort of more big events that we do. It, it's separate to the career series where I'm, you know, trying to improve my licenses and doing the official championships and things like that. We're starting with the 23 Hours of Zolder which was an endurance race held by, uh, hosted by Jimmy Broadbent for the Mind Charity. £70,000 uh, was raised in the end over the course of the, the 23 hours, which was fantastic. And this was sort of the, the race that uh, Josh and Moose, who I've talked about in my first episode of the Korea series, this was the race that he wanted me to do and is the whole race that I got into racing for in the first place to be part of his team and drive you know, some stints during the race. So this was actually my fourth race ever in, in iRacing. You know, it was, I, I no, my fifth race, sorry. I'd done four races in rookies. I got my D license and then we were straight into a 23 hour endurance race. And of course, my first ever stint in an endurance race, in my first endurance race, was at night, just to complicate things even more. Move it, move it. There we go. Oh, well, that fuel's a lot faster than I thought it would. Be careful of pits, people. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, second gear, by the way. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, that sounds like a bit of anger in chat. That's a penalty. <laughs> Ruffy, do you need just to shut up, or? Uh, maybe for like. The first lap. Yeah, sure. okay. Just let us know when you're good. Alright. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go for a well and walk. Okay, see you later, Zach. Uh, Zach? Carl. Why do I keep doing that today? Just, just talk. Okay. Well, Hello. well <laughs> I mean, uh, if you want, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was gonna tell you about traffic behind, um, but there was nothing yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, now there is. There's a GT4 and a TCR behind you. One second. <laughs> you don't corner that quick, do they? <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out. TCR behind. Left side. Clear. I was doing two two hour stints, so I would be doing four hours in total. The first one was at night, and the second one was uh, early in the morning, but at least it was gonna be light. And I had quite an eventful start to my stint. Um, yeah, many crashes, uh, and none of them were my fault, which was nice. You know, it was a confidence boost. I was obviously talking to the team at the time um, as I was, you know, driving my stint, and I was obviously nervous. And I feel like my awareness was pretty good. And I think my multi class endurance championship uh, experience came in when it came to that and, and letting people by. We were in the, the slowest class of the three. Right, two more cars to let Whoa! Pass. Okay, well. <laughs> Holy shit! Jesus. Car right, you cut the cord, you 
Uh, well, welcome to I racing. <laughs> oh my god, the car! It's pulling to the. <laughs> oh, really? It's broken, is it? It's okay. yeah. Um. Okay, pit. Oh I'll do the god. Uh, no fuel, no windscreen. What the hell no was he doing? I don't know. He just got rear-ended. I'm pretty stop. pretty sure that wasn't even your fault. All right, I'm giving you the fast repair. So. Well, that's it. Uh, second lap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know what. Like, I was yeah, just. It wasn't. He just didn't stop. He just went straight yeah. into your back. I'll, I'll watch it back and see what happened. But yeah, you just got murdered. All right. Yeah, you should just you will stop and then instantly go again. Too far back. Still too far back. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I should probably report that. So there was the uh, the GT fours, which were the fastest class, then the TCRs, and then us in the Jetta. What a horrible car, by the way. I hope I never have to drive this car again. Um, but. You know, there was an element of fun to this endurance race. It was 23 hours because I think uh, it was it was uh, a mistake initially uh, for the first race last year and they had to restart it and, and it was meant, it originally meant to be 24 hours. And there was sorts of uh, fun penalties. You know, if, if people crashed and things like that, people had to come into the pit lane and sing a song or donate to charity or something like that. So... It wasn't the most serious insurance race of all time, and that kind of uh, settled me a little bit in the early stages to know that it wasn't, you know, so serious. Um, but I still wanted to at least put in a decent performance, and, and the f especially the fact that, you know, you're part of a team as well. So the, with these early crashes that I had, the fact that they weren't my fault at least made it feel a little bit better in that respect. But yeah, it wasn't nice to be consistently having uh, these crashes. And it always seemed to happen at the start of my stints as well. I would go out of the pit lane and after a few laps, something would happen. Um, specifically, there was a, a car 86, which uh, was notorious during the entire race for just being all over the place. He was actually driving, I think, with a keyboard or at least a controller, which was kind of crazy. And he was getting involved in incidents all the time. It even led to me raging at one point where he just, you know, it, it was it, it was almost on the pace of us in the slowest class as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the, the 86. Oh, oh, the bloody yeah, 86. The, <laughs> the two behind you, yeah. Hopefully they'll kill each other before they even come close. <laughs> it's possible. I'm in, I'm in the sim now, so... Okay, I've already gone back to watch it, Phillips. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've been like... Yeah, okay. Stay on the right. Oh, fuck, I can't open my rod. What? Whoa, Stay the A6 the right. killed someone behind Stay you! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, you got away with that. <laughs> we inherited the 4X, but it's fine. We didn't take any damage. Oh, my word. Can okay. somebody... Josh, can you go back and clip that and send it? Sorry, but that guy's got to get taken out of the race by now. Okay, this is I'll... ridiculous. All right, someone in my chat clip this. Because there was a guy up my inside, and I yeah, thought no, I no, gave no, him yeah. enough space. It's yeah, no, you were fine you. with him. <laughs> the oh, did he get you. did he get hit from behind, and that's what sent him into me? No, no, the the, no. the guy. Hang on, the guy in the chest. Okay, the the guy that hit you wasn't the guy alongside you. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, there were, yeah, there were two oh, okay. people. That, the eighty six just messed up the corner, slammed no, into someone else. The... He got on the grass, spun his car out, hit another car, well, ended up in the line of another car, which knocked that car into the car that was next to you. And oh, then as he did hell. that, spun around and slapped you in the back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to do with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Big mess. <laughs> Processing the clip. So yeah, I've immediately, in like five laps, <laughs> been involved in two major crashes, and neither of them I did anything wrong. You could, yeah. you could have done anything about. <laughs> You're just driving your race and <laughs> slammed into the back of you. <laughs> Jesus. That's it's fantastic. It's in you got camera. away with it so well in yeah. that last bit, though, because that could have put so much worse. All right. Now, unfortunately, we got given the 4X for it because we inherited it. It's whatever. We'll, have to, we'll just take a drive through penalty at some point and not worry about the Xs. Stay to the left. He's oh no, he bailed. Yeah. Oh, he sort of murdered the guy behind you. <laughs> just stopped at the guy in front of you, uh, behind you. Jesus. Okay, stay right. He's gonna go yeah. past. 
Okay. Watch out, because he's gonna his breaking is all sorts of weird. <laughs> There's a chicane there, mate. Okay, oh so like it's non-existent. Yeah. Alright, well, you gotta let him pass again. <laughs> this guy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, this is why we asked you to get out of rookies. Because <laughs> <laughs> it makes wanna... it doubly worse. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be a dick, but like, if that guy is such a danger to the road, maybe someone should have something. We've tried. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, not, I'm not talking about you. Like, I'm Ooh. talking about. Oh god, Noah's alongside of him. Okay, sorry. He just Why away. is he so. Uh, Leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead! <laughs> he's, oh, doing more danger. <laughs> he's doing more danger safe driving oh. than he is just driving, like. Or... <laughs> He can't oh, no. by creating accident. Why is he driving a GT4? <laughs> why, yeah, why is he not in a Jetta? All right, he's going left. Yeah. Don't worry, you'll catch him in the next corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because no. uh, he keeps going offline to overtake you, and then he messes up the corner. All right, he made it. He made it. He did it. Hey. Hey. So I, I had my my uh, you know crashes and incident at the start. And then for the rest of my stint, for the rest of the two hours, I actually kept it pretty clean. Like I said, had good anticipation, got away from a few incidents that could have happened uh, and that, that I was able to avoid. And I had a fairly, fairly decent stint, you know, kept us in a decent position. I think we were hovering around the uh, top 10 position for our class out of about 20 uh, 20 cars and that's kind of where we stayed for the entire race. You know, after the first couple of hours of an endurance race, you kind of settle into your position unless something major happens to other people. But yeah, I, I actually did pretty well and I was pretty happy at the end of my first two hours. I, I came in, uh, passed it on to Josh, who was going to be taking it for another few hours after that. And then unfortunately, just as I was about to leave and, you know, go to bed, just before I left the uh, the screen, Josh got involved in a massive crash. And again, not his fault. So we were pretty unlucky with some of these. What is this guy? Hello? Hello? Oh, no, bad. Can you confirm that you're alright? Seriously, Josh? Oh, yeah. He's just gonna drive across the whole track, yeah? Okay, what what car number is that? Come on, respond. Yeah, you please. have to report it. I can't. Now, at this point in the race, because obviously I had to come in and use up, uh, you had a set number of what are called fast repairs. I think there was a maximum of five that you could use, which means that if you get damage, you come into the pit lane and the car will be repaired immediately, and you can just go again. Now, we'd already, after Josh's crash, after my crash early on, uh, we, we, we'd we already used up all of our fast repairs, so the rest of the race was going to be a little bit challenging. If we got damage, we would have to come in and wait for like 8 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to get it repaired. Some damage can't be repaired. So, yeah, it was at that point, you know, after this, it was just about making it to the end of the race, in all honesty. Uh, the night shifts happened. I wasn't there, obviously, but they were largely okay from what I understand. A few incidents, a few repairs, and a few penalties, but ultimately the, the guys on the night shift managed to come through. By the way, I'm racing for the Prolapse Motorsport team, which is uh, Josh's uh, iRacing team. Obviously, GTA-related. Prolapse is a uh, GTA company. But yeah, the night shift guys ultimately came through and like I said, it was all about getting it to the end when I took over from the guys who'd been doing the night shift at 8am the next morning. Again, it was eventful initially, got caught up with a few incidents. It was nice to be in the light uh, and have uh, have have daytime, but yeah, it was, it was still eventful. I was still getting involved in incidents again on my first couple of laps out of the pits. What the? Clear on the right. Car right. Clear on the right. I didn't even see. Know he was there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I mean, stop from my face. I, he left the pit lane. Oh, he left the pits. Yeah, he was next to you the whole time. Oh. Uh. Oh, <laughs> the damage. <laughs> Shit. Does it say we're getting repairs? Uh, required repairs eight minutes. Yeah, the, the required repairs are like 
you have to what take the... those. You're not allowed to leave until you do. Uh, to be fair, it's a dodgy pit lane exit, isn't it, really? Yeah. What the... Yeah, it's just an unfortunate situation. Your, yeah. your in-game spotter didn't tell you. Because yeah. if, even... if it said every time there was a car in the pit lane, it would just say car right when there's nothing there. All yeah, the time, so. I got I got car right, like, there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sucks. I, I could see it coming a mile away. I'm just eating my fucking info. <laughs> so I'm, like, oh, I'm sure I'll be right. So, you know, those incidents required me to come into the pits and get the car fixed, which I did, and I had to wait for, a, a, you know, a few minutes while that was happening. But again, just like the first end, after that, it was otherwise nice and clean, and we, we had a nice clean uh, rest of my stint. I wasn't particularly quick, but I wasn't, you know, really slow either. I was kind of on the same level of pace as, you know, the the, the midfield of our our pack, which I feel like wasn't too bad for, you know, it being my, my first race out of rookies, really. And I, I kept it clean, and I was able to, you know, look after the car and... and that was the most important thing at that time, really. Uh, and again, good, decent awareness. I think that was one of my strengths to be able to just avoid incidents as they uh, potentially could have happened. We actually, during my stint, jumped up into the top 10. We were in 11th for a long time, but the car ahead had a big crash and had to come into the pit lane for a long time for repairs. So we, yeah, we, we got into the top 10, which was pretty cool. And then I passed it over to Josh for the final stint of the race. And in, in, in that final stint, ninth, we got up to ninth place right at the end with about 40 minutes left, again, because of issues for another car ahead. And the last few laps were a little bit stressful because it was a late safety car. There wasn't meant to be safety cars, but safety cars ended up being brought out by... Uh, by uh, people giving big donations, like IndyCar driver Tony Canaan gave a, cr- a big donation just on you know just on a whim to bring out a safety car, things like that. So yeah, that late safety car didn't really help much because our engine temperatures were starting to get hot. The car wasn't in the greatest state. Josh had blown up the engine in his first stint earlier on, um, and we were only two laps ahead of tenth and eleventh places in the race. They'd managed to, you know, fix their damage and come out only a few laps behind. So any anything that happened to us in the final few laps, we would lose that top ten position, lose the ninth place. But Josh did well to, uh, you know, bring it home, and we were able to finish the race in ninth place, which was uh, which was really nice. So we finished about mid pack, and yeah, it was it was my first ever endurance race. It was my first ever proper big event and it was it was fun you know i enjoyed it i would be up for doing these things again uh certainly i know i know that i racing does some official you know hosting of some of the big endurance races so the daytona 24 hours le mans things like that the week before they happen in real life they, they do the official series on i racing and there's you know thousands of people all entering in and getting split up based on ratings and things like that so that's something that we might uh, might do a little bit more of. Let me know if you'd like to see some of that. And that would obviously go into this events series. Uh, and it would sort of, you know, work in tandem with my other career series, which if you haven't seen, by the way, I'll leave a link to it in the description. It, it's it's covering my, my whole uh, journey through the iRacing licenses and uh, the, the official series just racing on my own. So... Yeah, in the end, you know, it was a great cause. Like I said, over £70,000 raised for charity. Um, and it was good fun. Uh, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this sort of short recap video. It's quite hard to put 23 hours of action, especially a lot of it when I wasn't there, into a, a short video like this. But I've tried to include some highlights here and there as well. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time.